Hey Leos, welcome to your love reading July 12th to the 21st for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing really good. So for those who are new, I always go through a meditative session and pre-shuffle before I get into the reading itself. So Leos, oh, the very first thing they showed me when I meditated on your energy was the traditional Six of Swords and the Rider Waite deck. You guys know what it looks like, so I won't pull it out. Um, I do feel like you are moving forward. You're really leaving a lot behind, to be honest, is how it feels. Some of you might actually be moving um and i feel you guys kind of feel like you lost a lot if you feel like you didn't lose a lot material wise like tangible like money things valuables a home some of you actually might have even lost a home um you feel like a big chunk of you was taken out if you're not feeling the material loss some of you are feeling almost like an emotional loss that like that someone has really taken a big chunk of you away like sorry she's those are my words that someone has someone or people have taken a big chunk of you like a big chunk out of you almost like <coughs> excuse me not no pun intended but a little bit of like the lion's share of you um and you're just you're kind of you're just moving on you're just you're, you're cutting your losses moving on moving ahead all right um but it does feel a little bit like an empty victory some of you are definitely feeling that way this could be in family this could be in love this could be in career or work some of you it is financial some of you it is very strongly financial okay but whatever's ahead of you leo it's gonna be it's gonna get better you might have feel like you might feel like you've lost a lot but that just honestly like i'm such a scorpio i just can't help myself when we feel like we lose a lot that means we got a hell of a lot more to gain you know what i mean like i i kind of hate that phrase like you know, nowhere to go but up. But that is kind of how you're feeling, right? And just know that, like, you do have a lot more to gain. So no matter how much you have lost or think you've lost or feel you've lost, you're going to recoup all of that. You will. Okay, so don't even worry about that. Um, what was really interesting, though, I did pick up on a past life. And I don't know who this is for. Um, um, but it's a, it's a feeling of being lost at sea, to be honest. Um, I do feel that that might... Mm, Okay, they're telling me no. No, it was just a traumatic event. Okay, so this was a traumatic event in your life. You didn't lose your life this way, but it was a traumatic event and that event is still with you. You didn't really heal from it in that life. And that might be coming up right now, especially because you feel like you've lost a lot and you are trying to move ahead and move forward. Um, wherever you got lost, it wasn't even like a stormy condition. It was actually just very hot. It was very, very hot. I'm seeing a lot of sun. Yeah, a lot of sun and just open ocean, like no land in sight. I do feel like you had your family with you. I don't feel, yeah, it almost feels like you might have been a merchant of some kind, but either way, you traveled a lot by boat and your family traveled with you. Your family traveled with you. It doesn't feel, mm, see what else I can get. It doesn't feel like European descent. I'm trying to like pinpoint locations. Oh gosh, guys. Okay, so I'm terrible at like, <laughs> I have a terrible memory and I failed geography twice, twice, no less. Um, memorization is just not my thing. Numbers are my thing. Um, but I am a very visual person, which is why math has always been a thing for me. Um, and regardless of your gender in this life, you were definitely a man. I can't tell what descent you are. You definitely had olive toned skin. You definitely were rocking a beard situation, dark hair, maybe like five, six, five, seven. That could be from anywhere though. Um, could, you could have been Middle Eastern, you could have been African, you could have been South American, uh, even, it, I, I don't know why I'm getting in India really strong, actually. You might be from India. I mean, you might have been from India at that point. Um, but anyway, regardless, you had your family with you and you did get lost. You did get lost and there was trauma there because I felt like there was an issue with supply, like food supply. Oh, you might have lost a child. You might have lost a child because of that. And I think you never really got over it. Okay. Okay. Yes, you did. You lost one of your children because there was a lack of food and water. It was definitely the younger, the younger of your children. And I think that always stuck with you. And that is coming up. Okay, thank you. That's coming up for you in this life regarding the situation that you're in. This could have been your, ch you know, this could be, <clears throat> excuse me, that whatever it is you feel like you've lost or leaving behind, that it might be affecting your family or even affecting, um, this person who is now in this life again with you. Does that make sense? Sorry, I know my words are all over the place. Um, you know, we often travel with with um, our soul tribe from lifetime to lifetime. Not all of them, because we got a we got a large soul tribe, right? Um, but this person that you lost in that life is definitely with you in this life. 
and you feel like your relationship is being jeopardized or affected because of this situation that's transpired. I'm feeling that really strong. And that fear is coming up for you because you didn't heal from that event in that life. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get into the pre-shuffle. So we have four of cups, Cancerian energy with the Empress, Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy, justice in reverse, Libra energy, six of swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. And then we have this come out together as a set. Oh, please focus. Hold on. Excuse me, Seven of Cups in a verse, Scorpionic energy with uh, the Ace of Pentacles and King of Swords in a verse, Aquarian energy, a lot of aqua energy for you guys, a lot of air actually. Um, excuse me, aqua is your natural seventh, your seventh house, house of relationships. Um, I do feel like this is a person, mm, oh Leo, I feel like this is actually the person that you're, you're kind of leaving behind, okay, that took a big chunk of you, Jesus, took a big chunk from you or actually took money or materialistic objects from you or like you had to give that give you had to give that up to that person it's something of, of that nature but anyway Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra so let's get into these energies a little bit I definitely feel like this was your energy almost like you, you took a moment right oh please focus there we go in this four of uh, cups energy you, you took a moment okay if you haven't done this yet you're going to taking a moment to really look at your options none of which you like you don't like any of the options that are in front of you. I can feel that. You don't like any of those options. It's almost like the best of the worst options. Um, you're doing that. This is a soul decision. Yeah. This is a soul decision. Deciding what's really best for you out of the worst options possible. And you're doing it as an empress though. Okay. You're doing it as an empress, which tells me that you are staying very strong in this. Even if you feel like you've lost a lot, you're staying very, very strong in this. Um, and what it's interesting because I'm almost getting like a like a walking through doors, like you're in one room alone, isolated, trying to siphon through, okay, what's really best here without any interruptions, without anyone else's opinion, as an empress, as someone who's very strong and trying to manifest the best situation out of a, out of a worst case scenario situation, Jesus, the best choice solution out of a worst case scenario. And then it's like you make that choice and then you move on and confront the bullshit, confront the chaos, confront the storm, the issue, the thing that really has caused a lot of imbalance in your life. Oh, come on. Thank you. Um, what's really caused an imbalance in your life and something that you just you just really need to get away from at this point. And it's interesting because I feel like you've delayed this, this decision, Leo. I feel like you've delayed this decision. And the longer you've put it off, the more you've lost. The more you've lost. And I think that's why you're coming to this point of like, I can't lose anymore. I can't lose any more of my energy or myself to this person. I can't lose any more of my money or my possessions to this person my sanity my peace of mind I can't lose any more of it I just got to cut my losses and go and you do you do with the seven of cups in reverse you cut down your options right you cut down your options to make that decision even if you didn't like any of your options you cut them all down making that choice to go into stability to go into a place of calm and to just recover right recover and hold on to what you have left of yourself or your actual money or possessions because of this individual all right someone who is guy okay so what i'm about to say because like the nar the narcissist word always triggers people it's a spectrum guys there's a spectrum for everything when we're talking about energy so this could be someone who has selfish tendencies or maybe a little egotistical all the way up to a true blue narcissist so decide on the spectrum where this person lies for you okay i do feel a little bit like this person is not aware that they're like that but yeah I, I agree some of you are like that doesn't matter i know i know it doesn't matter i know it doesn't i totally agree with you that doesn't matter what their intent was it's it's about what actually took place right okay leo all right let's get into your reading here um <clears throat> For anybody who has questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. Any messages for Leo? Why am I not comfy? Hold on. Let me get extra comfortable here. All right. Any messages for Leo? Regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Leo? Regarding love, it's interesting. Some people might feel like you're making a selfish, selfish decision, but in my opinion, just from what I'm getting, it's self-preservation. It's not selfish. It's not selfish. Self-preservation. Someone feels like you're leaving them high and dry, but Leo, something tells me you have to. You feel like you have to, and I, I agree. I agree with you. Any messages for Leo regarding love? 
July 12th to the 21st. As always, guys, um, you guys know this is a general reading, so it's not going to be for everybody, but I do get multiple messages sometimes, so stick around, all right? might get something for you. I'm just think a lot of you are like, this is not my story. <laughs> hey, messages come through for those who need to hear them. You guys know that's how I work. <clears throat> Any messages for Leo regarding love? July 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Leo regarding love? July 12th to the 21st. Oh, I love seeing that. Nine of Cups, Piscean Energy. Trying to chase full fulfillment on your own. On your own. Not to say that you don't have other people with you or that you don't have people supporting you, uh, supporting your decision. I feel, like, eh, I feel like a lot of you feel like you're lacking the support by a lot of people, but you have it to some extent, at least by one person, at least by one person. They're very supportive of you um, becoming fulfilled in what you want, in your hopes, your wishes for yourself, um, and feeling really good. You're feeling really good about the decision you're making here. Any other messages for Leo regarding love? July 12th to the 21st. All right. Wow. Seven of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. This is about revisiting the scene of the crime, the old bad deeds, the shit people got away with, right? The shit people got away with. I'm, Yeah, I'm getting stole. Stole. Yeah, you definitely just feel like they took from you. Whether they literally stole something or you just feel like they just took a chunk of out of you. All right. It, feel, it feels really good, though. It feels really good. Um, getting your happiness despite what's happened to you. And you made it happen for yourself. You made it happen for yourself. Any other messages for Leo regarding love? July 12th to the 21st. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bunch of cards just came out. I'm going to leave them there, though. Um, any other messages for Leo regarding love? July 12th to the 21st. All right, let's see what we got here. Wow, okay. <laughs> I love it when the cards work out like that. Ten of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy. With Justice, Libra energy, Temperance, Sagittarian energy. And then we've got a little set here. Oh, wow. I knew some of y'all had a supporter. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Leo. We have a Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. With the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Aries energy, Leo energy, both fire. King of Wands is also air. Okay, and the queen is also water. Oh my, oh Leo. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm getting really excited for you. Yeah, you guys are definitely gonna be in a really good place after this. So again, um, gaining your happiness, becoming more hopeful, more optimistic, despite what was taken from you, despite what was done to you, and getting justice and healing after the, the debacle, okay? After making this choice and after dealing with the pain and ending that you an ending that you've had to endure with the situation with this person or persons. But a, a lot of balance is coming in for you because you're getting healing from the situation and exactly the choice you make to leave the situation behind. I know my words all over the place. Mercury retrograde. The decision you make to leave this behind is exactly the justice um, that's needed here to restore balance for you. And then <laughs> we got a true pair here, a queen of wands and a king of wands with a lot of love, a lot of love backing this connection here, okay? Um, for some of you, is this an apology from this person? It could be. It very well could be. We're going to get a little further into this, and it'll help me kind of decipher that, and I'm not really feeling well, so I think that's also partly why I can't pick up on it right away. Um, but it's love backing this connection. And I do feel like this is someone who really does support you, which is why I'm inclined to say it's not part of the bullshit that's happened to you. It could just be a friend. It doesn't have to be a romantic interest, but it feels very romantic. I just got to be honest. Um, it could even be a family member or a sibling that's supporting you in, their, in your decision, helping you find your balance, helping you find your peace. For others, it could be a supporter love interest trying to be there for you. It feels really good, though. It feels really good. I really like it. It's definitely someone who's a true match. They're really wanting me to hit that home for some reason. I think some of you might question, like, okay, for example, if you're going from one relationship to the next, um, some of you might really be questioning if this person is worth investing in or worth spending your time with. It, it, they are. They very much are. You, you two are very compatible. Overall energy, we do have the hair font. Oh, yeah. See, some of you guys definitely, this is like a divorce. Wow. Look at this overall energy. 
So it came out like this, Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy, with the Ten of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy, and Four of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, with the world in reverse underneath that, okay? Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, which rules Capricorn. This is definitely divorce energy or some kind of long-term relationship, even family relationship coming to a, a close, a permanent close at that. When the world comes out, guys, no Lazarus. No Lazarus can come. It's a permanent ending. And underneath that, we have a single energy. Oh, focus. Hold on. A single energy, the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. A very single energy coming in after the fact. So Leo, definitely this is coming in so strong that you're leaving a partnership of some kind, whether it's romantic or work. Um, if it's a family relationship, it's someone that you've been very tied to for a long time and you're leaving them in the dust, okay? But it's for your betterment. And you know that. By the way, underneath that is the Leo card. <laughs> Behind that single energy is your energy. Um, couldn't be clear, guys. It could not be clear. Wow. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. Let's look at the Nine of Cups with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Um, I am kind of curious as to what happened here. I feel like it's going to be different for everybody, but let's see if we can hone it in a little bit more. I'm going to use Rider wait to clarify. Gosh, why can't I pick up all the cards? Okay, there we go. <clears throat> and then we'll look at Justice, and then we'll get into this, this little yummy compatible connection that there's a lot of love with, all right? Love around. <laughs> uh, my vocabulary went up back to 100%. So I have Seven of Swords in reverse for Leo regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. So I have Seven of Swords in reverse for Leo regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. So I have Seven of Swords in reverse for Leo. Oh, God, Ten of Swords in reverse again, double confirmation. There's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of pain that I feel like your person put you through. The person you're leaving behind, the person that took a lot from you, took a big chunk out of you, a lot of pain. I'm also feeling a lot of like backstabbing, betrayal energy, like shifting, lies, lies. So they'll say one thing, they'll turn their back and they'll just go ahead and do something completely different. Ooh. Oh, Jesus, look at this. Look at this. Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarian energy, and Five of Wands, Leo energy. This is a hell of a lot of fighting. A lot of fighting. Oh, I'm hearing disrespect. I'm hearing disrespect. You felt very disrespected. You feel like it was a constant battle. A constant battle. I'm, I'm feeling like you've had to really stand up for yourself a lot. And this person just wasn't having it. This person really wanted to keep you suppressed, keep you down. <laughs> wasn't what I signed up for, yeah. You know, that's the problem with the representative, guys. That's the problem with the representative. And people, some people can keep up their representative for a long time. A long time. All right. Like, what did my mom always used to say? My mom always used to tell me, and she still tells me this to this day, you don't know someone until you've known them for at least 10 years. And even then, they'll surprise you. Because even I've experienced that after knowing someone for a decade, they'll surprise you. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. Not to sound pessimistic. I'm just telling you what I know from my experience. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse for Leo regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. All right, so we got three other cards out here. We have Two of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Wow, Queen of Swords in reverse, Libra energy could also be air or water. And then we have the Sun in reverse, Leo energy. Overall, Page of Swords in reverse. Terrible communication, petty, very petty, very immature communication. Um, and again, that lies, the lies I was picking up on. This is my lying card when it's in this position. And let's take a look at this energy. The Two of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse, and the Sun in reverse. I just, honestly, guys, disrespect is coming in so strongly. Excuse me, so strongly. And Leo, you basically made the choice. I, I really feel like this is your energy, really making the choice to be like, you know what? I deserve happiness. I deserve stability. I need to cut out the chaos. I need to cut out the chaos of what this has done to me and my life. And I deserve better. And you're damn right you do. You're damn right you deserve better. Okay. Oh, wow. So you get justice, you get justice and you get a lot of healing from this. Okay. I really feel like the justice is you just moving on 
to be honest with you. But we'll we'll take a look. We'll take a look. Maybe there's some other fun stuff going on there. I'm gonna use Alice in Wonderland to clarify justice, and then we're gonna get into this Knight of Cups. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Tell me about justice. For Leo, regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Tell me about justice. For Leo, regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Tell me about justice for Leo, regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Tell me about justice for Leo, regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire with the sun in reverse Leo energy. I'm not happy. That's what you're saying to this person who's taken so much from you. I am not happy. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not happy and I'm not going to stick around for this any longer. I'm not going to be oppressed. You're not going to keep taking from me because I deserve the best and I deserve to be truly happy and it's not working. Tell me about justice for Leo regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. You're going to tell them. You're not going to make a quiet escape about it. You're going to tell them, even if it turns into a fight, you're like, fuck it. What do I have to lose? I need to get out while I can. A lot of you are kind of feeling this way. Again, this could be business or love. It feels romantic, though. It does feel romantic. But you could be jumping from one business situation to the next. You definitely could be. Tell me about justice. <clears throat> Tell me about justice. Yeah. Tell me about justice for Leo regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Tell me about justice for Leo. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now we have Eight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy. With the Three of Swords, Libra energy, Saturn and Libra to be specific. There's a lot, you guys got a lot of swords here. You have the Five of Swords, you got the Ten of Swords twice, Seven of Swords, Page of Swords, Three of Swords. Got a lot of pain in this situation, okay? You're very aware of that. And with the Eight of Wands in reverse, this pain, you haven't just been feeling it now. You've been feeling it for a while with this person, and it's been holding you back. It's been holding you back, and it's been hard to really talk about. I'm hearing a lot of miscommunication between you and this person because they don't want to acknowledge it. This person does not want to acknowledge the pain they've caused you because they know if they acknowledge it, they have to do something about it or take some responsibility and they're not going to take responsibility. They'll be damned if they got to take responsibility. Hell, hell's going to freeze over before this person takes responsibility. And that's why this needs to be cut away. This needs to be done. And you know that, Leo. You know that. Overall energy for justice. We have seven of wands in reverse Leo energy. I feel like this is the defenses this person has been keeping up. You basically going in and just speaking your truth. Speaking your truth about the lack of happiness and joy you've been feeling and how much this pain has really inhibited you and this person as far as growth and progress in life is concerned, you're shattering their defenses. You're shattering through that wall that they did not allow you to go through because they don't want to acknowledge what they've done. You're like, you know what? I don't care. I, I don't care. It's like, I'm going to make you see the truth. You can't hide behind your curtain. You can't hide behind your wall. This is the truth and you're shattering that wall for them. It doesn't mean they're going to out, have an outpouring of emotion. You're just not going to allow them to hide their head in the sand anymore. Okay? Now, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited. Let's get into this energy. Let's get into this energy. The love backing, a really, really strong, true pair kind of connection here. Like I said, I do feel like it's a different person. It doesn't feel like this person to me. It can be this person coming back changed. I say change because I don't see changed cards yet, but we'll see. We'll get into it, okay? Let's look at the Knight of Cups. And for some of you, this could just be a friend who's just trying to support you in your decision, okay? Gilded Tarot to clarify. Sorry, my nose is itchy. <laughs> okay. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. For Leo, regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Knight of Cups for Leo regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Oh, come on. Okay. Tell me about the Knight of Cups for Leo regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Knight of Cups for Leo regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. 
Ooh. Five of Wands in reverse. So getting away from the conflict, not wanting there to be any conflict whatsoever, right? So I like that. So it was like a very warm, friendly kind of approach. Tell me about Knight of Cups. Tell me about Knight of Cups. I'm also getting healing energy coming off of this Knight of Cups. <clears throat> like any kind of bruising that you might have felt from this situation, the love in this true pair connection is really kind of healing your bruising from this, okay? Tell me about the Knight of Cups for Leo regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Oh, Queen of Cups. What did I say about healing, guys? Cancerian energy. You could be a Cancer Leo Cusper. Also Pisces or Scorpio. Just healing, 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 and a lot of love. A lot of love. This person, whoever they are, if they are the same person coming back renewed, like I said, that's a very unlikely scenario for, for you guys. I, like I said, I feel like it's more of a person who cares about you, who wants to support you. Very healing energy. Very healing energy and healing the bruises you've endured from this situation, okay? see what else we got here. Could be a water sign. Don't have to be, though. Talking about Knight of Cups for Leo regarding love. Talking about Knight of Cups for Leo regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Oh, come on. Okay. Talking about Knight of Cups. Oh, oh sorry, guys. Talking about Knight of Cups for Leo regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Okay. So now we have... Page of Pentacles with the Page of Cups in reverse. This is really interesting to me because Page of Cups to me is a very tangible kind of communication. So seeing someone in person or talking to them over the phone, but talking about what? Talking about a Page of Cups in reverse, talking about a very unapologetic um, communication that's already happened is kind of what I'm getting. So yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, this could just be a friend. Could also be a new lover though, just saying. Um, where this communication, oh, please, oh, please focus. This communication is providing stability for you along with a lot of healing, but it is about some very kind of cold, unapologetic energy that's already taken place, which is the part of the event that you've already been through, okay? Overall energy, we do have death in reverse, scorpionic energy, okay? So for some of you, yes, this is this person coming back trying to get into your good graces. Do I feel like there's been change? Mm. I can't say that for sure. I can't say that. I know they don't want you to leave. They definitely don't want you to leave. They like having a little bit of a hold over you. But Leo, you know what's best for you. Just because someone loves you doesn't mean that they want the best for you either. Some people see love in a very twisted way, even if they do love you, right? Use your intuition here in, if that, in that scenario where this person's trying to come back. But for most of you, this person is facilitating the healing and change that you need for yourself, right? The change that comes with healing, it's really beautiful, guys. You could be with a Scorpio because this person's got a lot of water going on, all right? In the scenario where this person is not the past person trying to get back into your good graces, I do feel like it's more of a friendly kind of energy, a very warm energy that's bringing a lot of healing to your life. And in that healing, it's also changing you a little bit. And I feel like whatever happened to get you trapped with this person who did all this bullshit to you, um, you were a very different person at the time. You were a very different person. And this healing energy that's coming through for you is causing change in you for the better, okay? Causing you change um, to get you to be a little more, a little stronger in situations like this. So Leo, honestly, this is really, really beautiful. No matter what, you're heading towards your happy and you're heading towards a very balanced healing place, okay? No matter what you've lost in the situation. But like I said, for those where this this person's trying to get back into your good graces after you try to dip, really use your intuition there because I don't really feel a whole lot of change behind this person. And they did come across as a King of Swords in reverse energy. That is someone who is very capable of manipulation. Okay, so just be mindful of that. All right, so let's get some advice for you from the Spirit Animal deck. Any advice for my Leos? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. God, they already want to talk. Any advice for my Leos? Regarding the spread, any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Less cards, please. Less cards. They really want to talk, guys. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? 
Okay. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Oh, oh, I love it. Cat, cat spirits, claim your independence. Leo, I feel like you've gotten this card quite a bit in the last month or so. 13 breaking down to a four. 13 always does remind me of death energy, which you do have here. You definitely have here, but it is about your stability, your foundation, whatever you got to build for you. This is definitely the advice to break away from this past person, break away from this past situation any way you can. To be honest, that's the energy that I'm getting for the advice for you. But at the end of the day, it's your decision. You know your life best. Don't ever make ginormous life change decisions based off a of general tarot reading okay i've said that before and i don't i'm not afraid to say it again um you got to use your discernment guys it is your life at play here any advice for my leos regarding this spread Let's see what else we got i'm also getting leader sorry they're drawing me back into this i'm also getting leader energy with um orange orange tabby cats it's actually uh symbolically about leadership and alpha right time to take back control of your life and be the leader and ceo boss of your life and yeah i'm, I'm, I'm getting that again cutting out other people's opinions other people's opinions do not matter when it comes to your life only your opinion does okay any other advice for leo Regarding this spread. Any other advice for Leo? Regarding this spread. Any other advice for Leo? Regarding this spread. You got more stability coming out here. Oh, yeah. Now you have 40. Energy of fours. You got two fours here. I would, I would consider that a synchronicity. About your stability and, again, your foundation, right? Fortifying it. You guys have definitely gotten this advice before. You've definitely gotten this advice before, and I'm getting that loss energy again. And by the way, look at all the sacral energy going on here. I'm just saying, some of y'all where this is a new romantic interest. It feels really damn good. Um, but anyway, bringing it back to you guys. With mouse spirit, tend to the small things. I do feel a fortifying of your own foundation, your independent foundation. I mean, it's coming across so clear and so strong, and I know I've gotten this for you guys before. So some of you who have been um, resonating with those readings in the past regarding this kind of energy... Some of you just haven't worked through it yet. Others of you have. And so those of you who have, I know you're a little frustrated because you want to hear more about what's going on with you, but clearly there are some Leos who still need to hear this, okay? Some Leos out there still need this message to be alpha, to be leader. Take back control of your life. Make your life yours and cut out other people's opinions. They don't matter. It's not their life. It's yours, okay? And overall, we do have chameleon spirit. Act as if. 14 breaking down to a five. We do have a progression energy of 13 to 14, which I love seeing. And this to me just screams the upper chakras, upper chakras. Um, so definitely with the sacral energy, it is about your creative center. Some of you are going to have to be very creative in how you go about this uh, next step in your life. But honestly, guys, you know, you know what's best for you. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine in doing it. But definitely pay attention to your upper chakras as well. I feeling, I'm feeling that there's some alignment needed there for those in this situation. But this is about adaptability, adapting to the changes that you'll be experiencing. 14 breaking down to a five, and you did have two fives down here already from the tarot reading, okay? Um, this is a lot of change for you, but it's for the better no matter what you've lost. And you will adapt to it. You will. You will adapt to it by making your life yours again and not for anyone else, Okay. All right, Leo, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon and check that out. And I will see you guys later. Bye, Leo.